Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix a broken sun visor in your car. There's a couple ways you can do it, but let's go ahead and get started. What I'm dealing with here is this mess right here. So what happens is as you're driving down the road, you start moving, the visor starts flopping around, hitting you in the face, it doesn't stay up here. Pretty much right here, you have a broken clip. I'll get a close up of that. That's a common cause in a lot of vehicles. Different cars are different. Coming here to this side, you have the actual piece here where it hinges off of. These can also break as well. In this particular vehicle, it hasn't, but I'm gonna show you how to remove it, either the clip or this here, if you need to replace it, whatever your cause is. Pretty much all you need is a set like this where you have all these multiple bits because some vehicles use either a flathead or a Phillips screw to hold the sun visor in place. Some of them use one of these Torx type bits. So it's good if you have a set like this with all the multiple sizes, that way you can't go wrong. This particular vehicle, you can see there, it just has a Phillips head screw holding the actual clip. But on this side, it takes a T20 Torx bit to remove those screws, which are obviously rusted and need to be replaced as well. Now these clips are very inexpensive. This particular one here for the vehicle I'm working on, I just went to the junkyard and I picked these up for a buck a piece with the screw. I don't need the screw because I already have one in my vehicle, but what I'm saying though is you can get them very cheap. It's a very quick fix to get your sun visor under control if it's one of the ones like I have where it's just flopping around because the bracket's broken. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the old one, put this in and that'll solve our problem. In this case here, it's just a Phillips head. Go ahead and try it. it slides right in there so now it opens and closes everything's nice and solid when it's up not swinging hitting you in the face on this side as well you can see this one here same thing right there hinge is good all nice and tucked in Some other vehicles are different, like with this car here, there's no screw on this side, but if you're trying to replace it and you come onto the front, that's where you'll find your, your Phillips head. On this particular vehicle, they're all just Phillips screws, which makes it a lot simpler. So if you come here on this end as well, down on this end as well, you'll see that's also a Phillips. But you can see it's loose so it's not a bad idea occasionally just to prevent it from getting to the point to where they break just make sure things are tight like this one here definitely was in need of some tightening there we go that's a lot better on this suv this one's even different than that you pop this out and as we slide up in here you're going to see it, it has a torque screw tucked all the way up in there but then coming here on the other side, now on this side, on this type of vehicle here, which is actually a Chevy Trailblazer, 2003, you have this weird concoction here. So you don't see any of your screws. So you have this little hole here. You'll have to take just a small rod that can slide up in there. And what we would have to do in this case is open that up. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Pull this back. Get that out of the way. So we'll go ahead and put that pickup in there. And then we're going to rotate the visor actually counterclockwise. And there it went. You should have heard it clip in. And then at that point, you would keep rotating it. That'll bring it down low enough so you can get up in here and pop that clip down. And that's how you would remove this kind of a visor if you had to replace it or repair it. Then you have this type here, which is actually a Jeep Wrangler, but it's held on, this clip is held on by two Torx screws. And then coming down here on this end, you can see where it goes up. That's also got two Torx screws holding that in as well. This one's pretty easy to replace this type of a vehicle here. And as mentioned already, you can find these at the junkyard. 
very cheap if you need to replace those clips. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up this video on how to fix a broken sun visor in your car. Just very quick, simple video just wanted to do. Please send me any questions, any comments. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative. As always, I appreciate all the support out there, so please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.